Why have mortgage rates been declining in Canada? Well, got an answer for you, so stay tuned to this video. But it's correct. Fixed rates have been declining in Canada now since October 2023. And recently, fixed rates just fell under the 5% mark. That is absolutely fantastic news if you're a homeowner, especially if your renewal com is coming up or you're looking to purchase a new home. So why have they been falling when the Bank of Canada has not been doing anything? The Bank of Canada actually has been maintaining rates where they are at right now. And this is an interesting question because whenever I say to folks, hey, rates have actually been going down. Why aren't we looking at getting our pre-approval now? They're saying, no, rates are still going up. Bank of Canada hasn't done anything. Well, the fixed rates are a different story than variable rates. The Bank of Canada controls variable rates, but the market controls fixed rates. So the market actually has been pricing in a fixed rate that is lower and the reason is, is because the market feels that rates are going to come down. Now, the question is, when are they going to come down? And variable rates, probably end of 24, maybe mid 25, as far as into 2026, possibly. And the main thing is, is that because fixed rates have been going down now since October, there is this growing sentiment in the market that inflation, even though it's completely still very high, it's slowing and that economic activity has been slowing as well. And because of that, fixed rates have been declining and this is in due to the fact to the bond market. The five-year bond yield, if you follow that, it's been declining since October. And as soon as that five-year bond yield started to come down, Lenders started sending rate decreases, but only on their fixed rates. Variable rates, as mentioned, Bank of Canada controls those. There's no change in variable rates right now. Prime rate is still 7.2%, which is absolutely nuts when you think about it. Prime rate, 7.2%, yet five-year fixed rates, just under 5%. Can you believe that? I can't very big disparity and it's huge because usually variable rates are cheaper than fixed rates and the reason is it's because you're betting when you're taking a variable rate and that bet usually starts off with a cheaper rate compared to fixed it's been like that for my 14 years in experience as being a mortgage broker but the last few years have been totally different variable has been higher than fixed so fixed rates have been coming down. If you're looking at getting a pre-approval, you can get a pre-approval now and buy a home for less than 5% interest. And if you're getting a variable rate mortgage, which some people are, you're looking at a prime rate of 7.2% and then it's a discount to that prime that usually you're offered. So prime minus half or prime minus 0.75. Anyway, if you wanna get pre-approved, and you're just joining me now. My name is Joe Bladick. I'm a mortgage broker across Ontario. We'll be happy to take a look at your file. I have 14 years experience and can help direct you to the best lender.